All right, this will be about the fourth time today I've tried to do this, and hopefully we'll get it right this time. I'm going to show you how to change the battery in a Bravira Clipper. You can order them from several different places. I got these out of Poland, actually, off of eBay. They're the extended amount of power, so they actually last a lot longer than the regular one. In order to do this, it's actually really simple. You're going to need a T7 screwdriver type. This kit's pretty cool because it comes with all the different sizes already built in and a handle to hold them. And then these two screws, which are underneath your blade, are going to be taken out first. So let's do that. That's what you need your T7 for. If you don't have one, I'm sure that you can find one at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're not that expensive. I think everybody ought to have a whole set of these anyway because all of the tools these days are coming with the little Torx heads. They're, it just seems to be the thing to do. Now, to take apart the casing, I'm going to use my same little trusty hand held screwdriver with the flat tip on it. And I start off at the top and sort of pry it apart. And then when you get down into about here, you'll notice it start to come right apart. Now this one's been taken apart before, but if it never has been taken apart, it can be a little tricky to get it apart. Sometimes they're hard to get apart. This one wasn't so bad. Now there's the inside of your clipper. This is your power button, and it's important to know that because you're going to need to test the clipper before you put it back together. That is your power button. That's your motor. Just sort of slides out. Pretty much everything slides out of it. Don't take the whole thing apart because you don't want to break your solder between your cable and your charging cord, but take everything else out. Well, shoot. This one's never been changed out, so it still has all of the original packaging on it. And I keep hitting that button. Isn't that cute? The batteries just aren't holding a charge anymore. I think I just broke it. Okay. This one's on there really, really good. It does not want to come off. That's just interesting. I got it finally. There we go. When they're brand new, they sometimes are on there super good, and that one obviously was. But anyway, there's your clip, your battery. Then you've got two prongs here. One here and one here. That's what I was trying to take these off of, and it sure didn't want to come. No. I don't remember which side is positive, which is what my son just asked me. But what there is a test for that, actually. I know how to figure it out. There is a test for that. All right, well, which side of these is positive? And how do you tell? <clears throat> the easiest way to tell, I don't know if you can see it on film, but there's a little knob here. You see, it's got a knob under little connector like gotcha. a double a battery and those are the that flat size flat, okay the the end with your knob on it is going to be positive and it goes up and it goes under the motor the front of the motor well cool that saves the problem yeah. i had and your flat end is negative gotcha should roll that way because it'll go on either direction and if you put it on backwards it will not work that's why I said you're going to need to know about your little motor switch, your on-off switch, because I just try them on, turn them on and see what happens once you get it done. If they turn on, you know you did it right. If they don't turn on, you did it wrong and you turn them around. Another thing that happens if they're on backwards is the, trans, the re resistors in here get hot. So when you're putting it back together and you touch it wrong, you touch it, you're going to get hot and it's going to feel like you're getting burned. Now. Putting all of this back together is not as hard as it looks like it is, actually. 
You simply drop your motor back down in place, push everything down inside, and again, I've got the extra large capacity batteries. They are a super tight fit in this clipper. Sometimes you have to actually break the glue like I just did that holds them together. It won't affect how they work. It just makes them fit inside the hole a little bit better. And once you've got everything in place, test it, it works. And if you forgot how to tell which side is positive and negative, just test it when you put, before you put it back together. Like I said, because these are the bigger batteries, they are a tight fit. If you don't want to have to fight with them, get yourself the regular capacity and you'll be just fine. That stupid button and I are going to fight before we're through with this. May have to get my son to come put these together. Ah, no, that little cord right there was in the way. There we go. You need to make sure that your little wires down here are back in the little holes they came out of, otherwise it will not work. Get it back together now. Oh. I don't know why it won't go back together. Yes, Brian, I need your help. I just ruined showing how easy this is to put it together when I can't get it back together, didn't I? I can always just show how much fun this is and let it go. I haven't ever had a hard time getting them back together. It's got these little pegs right here, little holes in the circuit board. You want that in there, which is a pain. I think it was in there until I started moving around. It can be a pain. It needs to sit at that angle. Yeah. I start at the back end. It's just these batteries are just ever so slightly bigger than they the other are. Pack. The batteries are just a little, because of the glue on them. I tend to clean them off when I put them together. Oh, I wish I'd known that. He got it. I'm very large. So. Yeah, he's like six foot five, two hundred and fifty pounds. So we'll give him, cut him some slack. He can put anything back together. The problem is trying not to break it when I'm doing it. Ah, uh, don't break them, please. That's my point. Yeah. Just have to kind of force it. Or not. Did it go? Mostly. That side looks good. <laughs> having fun changing batteries it's not usually this hard usually they go right mm -hmm. together will it hold together with these at the top mm -hmm. top's not what I'm worried about this is one that I bought for I think $69 on eBay when they were closing them out. Ah, there you go. Oh, this side still doesn't want to. Swear that button. <laughs> hmm. We're having loads of fun here. Hope you're enjoying it. I can edit this out. It doesn't make any sense why the one won't go in. There you go. I did it too. You gonna take the glue off the batteries? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I could, I'm telling you, that circuit board man wasn't gonna let go of the batteries earlier. I thought I'd broken it at one point because I heard a crunch, but I didn't. You kind of did. 
Well, no, I thought I'd broken one of the leads off. Oh, I thought you meant the, the glue holding these. No, uh, I thought I'd broken the circuit board. Kind of squish them together so they fit. Yeah, remember, you don't have to do this if you buy the ones from the States, but this one came from Poland via eBay so I could get the extra large capacity. Just instead of touching, they have this little gap here you want to get rid of. Yeah, otherwise it will not work. Make sure positive to positive. That's now I want to hit the button. It's backwards. Oh, you got it to work. I couldn't get it to work. I lied. I'm wrong all the time. Don't you say a word. They do not want to go in there. No, they're in. <laughs> now that I've said that, they won't be. But... <laughs> Yay! He got it. See, the whole problem was the batteries weren't all the way in. And then you take your T7 again. Well, shoot. Brian, you lied. It's not all together. You just have to squeeze it until you get a screw in there. Uh, he says you just have to squeeze it till the screws go in. There's one screw. I do believe it will pull it tight. Maybe. Let's hope so. And there you go, with a fresh set of batteries, ready to go again. It's really not that hard, like I said. Everything goes wrong when you're on camera? Everything goes wrong when you're on camera, like he just said. This is the fourth time I've tried to videotape this, the first three times. Yeah, something really went wrong. Either the phone would ring, or a client would come in, or somebody who works here would come in here to talk to me. It just wasn't fun. So, there you go, and you get to see how much fun we have at work all the time. You can do this, I promise.